I think I'm gonna go to the stranger first. I feel like going to the stranger. I'm curious to see who they are. Although it said it about um I forgot their name. That person. <laughs> that was at the party wanting to help out the Indians. Am I gonna go and run into Trelawn again this way? No. Now let's see what this guy wants. Ooh. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> Try not to crash just as we get here. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. Hi. Hey, do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. Yeah. At that ghastly party. Oh. Evelyn Miller. That was the name. so, Mr. <laughs> Arthur Morgan, at least, sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, actually. he wasn't very upset about <laughs> it. He rather liked you. I can okay. say, how dare he? You, uh, well, I did. <laughs> well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rainsfall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flats. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river yeah, at Cumberland Falls. That was these guys. And at the party, you were upstairs. We <laughs> have great powers of observation. <laughs> Stop. As my Stop people, if we that. are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved i'm sure and now i am told we are to be moved again clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago this will lead to war no my son it will not we cannot fight another war they have got stronger and we have become far weaker mr morgan well, it's a bad business it's to do with oil i know it, it is. is but i need the proof I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <laughs> Listen, I realize that it I'm is a ridiculous quite request, be useless but we're very so. desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder. Mr. Miller. Still do I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Mm. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is now undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, at appointment with the Senator, we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his... Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. If the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Okay, so where am I meant to be? Oh. So that's just literally another mission, is it? I don't know where the oil fields are. <laughs> Slight difficulty there. So what's this one? Oh, Sadie mission. So is that not put a thing on my map? I'm confused. 
How am I gonna know where to go? Um, I don't know. I can do the Trelawney thing though, so we'll do that. Why am I not on my horse? Do I just have to do something else first? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure with that one. I don't know where the oil fields are, so it doesn't really help me to tell me to go there. <laughs> I have no idea where that is. Oh, I've got a temporary horse following me. Probably the one I was chasing um, Mary's dad with. Oops. Or oh, not dad, brooch. Cool. Trelawney? Whereabouts are you? I'm down there. Buenos dias, señor. Oh, yeah, because he was going to the um, tailor's, wasn't he? Do you see it? This is where I bought all my clothes. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened a up a bit. Fine night of debauchery. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. Well, eh? Not if you want to fit in so well, no one realizes you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. What are you talking about? <laughs> that suit is not fit for the purpose at hand. Come along, My here, boy. Come is on. Very spiffy. I'll have you know. Hello. I'm going Can to begrudge this immediately. Yes, Buy the fine three piece is in town need of a suit. New suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. Um, it was the English's fault one? his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. All right, that's pretty snazzy. I don't think that was an option when I was in the very good choice, sir. <laughs> heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. But I like my hair, and I want to cut it. Herr Strauss oh, has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps <laughs> not. You will see. The suspense I have a feeling I'm going to just need my money to pay off the bloody bounties so in this raid. Cheated. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent <laughs> pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Yeah, it's probably not the way we want to be done here. My good man, could you smarten up Style my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not, not a lick just... of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Um, no, I can't play it. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Mm. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. I haven't really paid much attention to this. Should we go for a swept back look? Make him look like a prince. Okay. I could have pomaded it too. Slick. <laughs> I'm not massively fond of that hairstyle, but there, I can change smart. it back when uh, we're done Come with on. what we're doing right Let's now. Get to the box. I've arranged some transportation. Oh, I was going to say, what about my horse? We're going in a car, a coach. Okay, have a successful evening, gentlemen. I ain't doing so well. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you, 
from Toad? The Prince. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. <laughs> You're a fresh oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's a mark? Is he all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I <laughs> go way back. Hi, George. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Doesn't ring a bell. to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards are? Yeah. He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Really Don't lots worry, of Arthur. We're all the authors of own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. Fantastic. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes. Yes, believe me, I heard every word. It's very sad Watch music Strauss. going on in this mission. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jim. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Sounds good to me. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I have none. Good time. The tables await. Well, I'll go find myself a change so of clothes. So do we actually have to win these games? Okay. You it sounded like it. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can Just I get knows the, the hand that will be dealt. All his instructions while playing poker. Take a seat, sir. I'd love to. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur How am I meant to know what his... Sorry, uh, but late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for Take me. Take your turn. I like this joint already. We uh, in the place, sir. So, hold our one to fix some straws. Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life, now where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, cold. you should have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go, then. Well, it's going to be just me and Blythe at the moment. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, gentlemen. 
I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really I'm the man that was deliberate in order to have us out of you there. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting an hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. Perfumes. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Let's up the stakes a little. Raise, or is that too high for you? I like a confident man, Mr. Blythe. I will... Call? Call. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Okay. No, I'm gonna call. Interesting. Hey, cowgirl. Ha! <laughs> That's my money. Ship. Ship. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well... I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. <laughs> Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. Mm -hmm. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. Mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Two kings, nice. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Hair king. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. I don't know how that works. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Thanks. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. <laughs> None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, uh... Where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Sounds delightful to Tell me. It. Please, cash mm -hmm. these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. That's obvious. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah. Yeah, Five so minutes far. have been... Rich. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> you leave my hobby alone. We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Mm. Very not good. For long. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. An insufferable man. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Take his gun, Arthur. Disarm. What is it? Your gun. I guess you were right. 
Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Loot the safe. Idiot, huh? <gasps> uh, I should have killed him, shouldn't I? Yeah. Because I've been dueling people and um, having to just disarm them <laughs> sometimes. So, uh, yeah. Oops. That will probably cost me the gold too, because it'll be don't use any health items. Dang it. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Yes. It's pretty good. Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. Yeah. The in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out Should of we here. not, like, shut the safe? Let's go meet the others. Sure. Well, I have you. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. We should probably go a bit quicker then, shouldn't we? Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. Uh -oh. That's not good. And how exactly are I we was literally out about to ask that. I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of plants. <laughs> We're in the middle of the me. river, after all. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Well, I suppose nice it could uniform, work. by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Okay. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> I'll look. There's your friend. <laughs> friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Oh, I thought that was Javier got shot for a second. I was about to, like, flip out. Oops. I was going to do that. Oh, why did I do that? Press R2 instead of R1. Oh, I'm up it. Are these bad guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you. Don't you die. <laughs> I can't see them because I've been table being in the way. Oh, there's a guy there too, apparently. Where are we moving to? What's our next move? You want to pay back? Please tell me you got the money. I did. supposed to fight those guys but I just bailed. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And I'm this sure watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a right lingo, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, 
Come on, let's get out of here. Well, I'm sure that went very badly. <laughs> the old scoreboard. I'm not very good at feeling out what the um, objectives are. There's no way to know, I guess, without looking, is there? And I wouldn't want to do that, because that would be totally spoilers. Alright, what did I have to do for this one? Uh, win the game of poker without Strauss's help. Oh. Wow. After your cover is blown, escape the boat in under 35 seconds. To get five headshots. Complete the mission without it here. I knew that one was gonna pop up. It had to when I failed that living thing. Um. So, we've got two missions at the moment. What are they? I've also got the child's one. I'll go and do that in a second. So that was Sadie. Where's the other one? Oh, is that the meeting the guy? Yeah, that's meeting the eagle. What's, oh, there's um... With all the guns. Oh, I can go back and do that. I wondered when that would crop up. I'll have to go do that when we go up and see this one. Because it's in the area. But as we're still down here, let's go see this one and then we'll go see Sadie. Hey, girl. Okay. I don't really want to eat any offal. <laughs> I should probably sell that so I don't have it in my inventory. Um, You're all right. That's the doctors, isn't it? Oop! Sorry. Oh, a husband. Hey, You've been messing with someone's wife. What is wrong with you? Excuse me. Is it in here or is it in the alley? You kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a bizarre character. Is that it? That was it. Cool. <laughs> So I assume that that will pop up at some point, will it? Clearly he's up with his wife. Yeah, I believe it. Um, so there's nothing on there at the moment. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pop to the store quickly because I need to buy some bits. And then I will go back to camp and see Sadie. So I'll pick up there. Oh, so graceful. It was good working with you, Mr. Strauss. Oh, you could just snub me. It's fine. Yes, well, I suppose it worked out in the end. Um, I could donate some stuff. Thank you, Arthur. You're welcome. Now, let me have some of the stew. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. You're interrupting my meal, Thank you. Susan. I think. Oh. So there's a, a ally mission that I need to do now. I said I want to miss it. I shall eat my stew and then I'll do that. And then we'll see Susan. Not Susan. Sadie. 
Who is it? Is it going to be Bill again? Last time it was one of those, it was Bill. Hey, Dutch. What's Lenny this time? Hey, Arthur. Hey, Lenny. Let's rob a stagecoach. What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. <laughs> Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That yeah, sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. <laughs> Arthur's It'll like, a huge I want to go. I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. No, there's not. Now. Who you want to go with? I'll give you a hint, Lenny. I guess. <laughs> no. I don't need no hand holding off of. Oh, come on, kid. But if we decide to do it once we've had a look, I'm taking half the money. <laughs> oh, All right. Love it. Let's get going then. It should be on its way right now. Seems like only yesterday you and me was shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Exactly. Yeah, I know. I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least you has got a roof. Yeah. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Your time will come. Is he not? Oh, he's so young. Okay then, girl. I've been trying to feed Follow my horse. Me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the feller told Get you some. about this? They progress. It's a sound lead. I told you. I know what I need to speak for me to by giving you this information. Protect myself. You mean did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. All right, Lenny. Okay, okay, I do. You've more improved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys for three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Wow, how young was he when he killed uh, some of them? Those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Because if he's 19, maybe. Now. You have to have been like 16, 15, 16. That's young. Here. Thought we were slowing down. We weren't. I don't actually know where it is we're going. Catfish or something, he said to me. Do I know where that is? Have I been there before? Oh, we're over near um Ah. Ah, this is where I got the, the Jaguar in this area. Kill cat. Um so I can stop by the Brain Fruit Manor while we have. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Why would there be a stagecoach coming through here? This seems very random. I should probably also get out my guns. Um, is it that one? Is it that one? But I need to clean it. It's a bit grubby. Uh, we'll have that one as well, just in case. Okay, here we are. This is not night time. Oh, let's leave the horses off the road to the right here. Okay. I figured we take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. There is a stagecoach on my minimap outside of the screen, but um, I bought some ammo too. Can I do this while I'm in? There it is. 
And I don't see no escorts neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? Oh, wait. I said, wait for my lead. This is a robbery. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said, drop the weapons. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me! Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. That's armored. Shit! U.S. Marshals, you're on Um, am I supposed to be killing these guys? I'm gonna. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we running? Crap. We're not running. What are we doing? Where's Lenny? <laughs> I've messed this up so bad. Oops. Okay, let me go back to my rock. Where Lenny ran off over there, that's what confused me. I didn't see where he went. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, they're behind me! Where? 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 I don't even know where this last guy is. Oh, is that him over there? Oh, there's two. Okay. <laughs> Get out of here. Excuse me, horse. You're right in my way. Try not to murder any horses today. Whoops. You alive? Yeah. Are you? Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things yeah, to go. Yeah, I should have had my face there too. Look, I'm, I'm telling it. you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much. Because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. Set up traps oh, to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. <laughs> You're still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. Okay. That was not very much. Friends with benefits. Anything worth taking? Dang it, how big are my family? Um. Oh, that's not too bad. We might as well go do this one here, though. Are they gonna come? They might. They might come for me, though, while I'm wanted, won't they? Yeah. Hopefully, we can just do this and then get to the post office without any issues. <laughs> might not work, but we might be able to. Let's just see what this is. I can't even remember who it was that Strauss wanted us to see here now. I've forgotten. Hello. Are you in here? You are not. Do you have anything in here I can take? Might be over by the water because then you say there's something to do with water. Like fishes or something. It's making me walk. Oh. Damn good reason for being on my property, mister. I do. I do. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? 
Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. Sounds good to me. I'm not sure I believe it, because that would be the easiest first on me right now. Uh, mission you. ever. Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Uh. Let's us handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I don't know if I trust it. I this game's broken fish. my trust. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. <laughs> now come on. Let's get us that debt. Someone's here, boy. Huh. Your house. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? That's a knife. Best place for them. Mm. Now where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. I didn't... It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Yeah, you got a knife there, though. I see it. You're gonna try and stab me when I take this box. Like it's right here. To ah! Bloody do it! I cut your damn head! Clean off! Flippin'. <laughs> I flippin' knew it! I saw that from miles away! There's no way I would have got over for that. Uh, so there's not actually anything in that box. Of course there's not. Uh, I can have some gin. You better not attack me either, boy. Wherever you are. Can I have this gun? I've already got that gun, haven't I? It's not a new gun, because it would have been like, hey, a new gun. I can't search the fireplace. Where would they likely put a... There's just alcohol everywhere. Um, a secret stash. Maybe I should have knocked that guy out. <laughs> Search this cabinet. Doesn't seem like the kind of place you would put uh, your life savings, but, you know. I really don't want to kill you kids, so please don't attack me like that did, because that was not smart. Don't hurt me, alright? Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. I don't want to take his money. Do I have to take that money? Can I not take, like, something else? Oh, cigarette cards. I don't know which ones I've got or not. I'm taking both of them though. Thank you for your contribution. I'll be back for that if I don't have a choice. Um, but I'd rather not take the kids' money if I can help it, because his dad seems like a bit of a piece of work. Snake oil. What was that on the top? Pistol cartridges. I think I'm gonna have to take that money, aren't I? So is this is dad's room. 
What about in like the furnace? What's this room? Oh, that's just the porch. So I, I have to take that money. That sucks. <laughs> I don't like being the bad person and taking money up from somebody who's just in a awful location situation. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. Can I tell him about his mother's letter? Probably not. Well, there I go, being the bad guy. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Does not feel good. It's under the house. <laughs> Okay, let's quickly pop up to the breakaway place and then um, I'll have to go and clear my debt. I think, just to be safe. Or I'm going to have more men popping up everywhere. Bounty hunters and such. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. A chuckle. So, somewhere this way is the house? Yeah! yeah. There's loads of predators in the woods. Because <laughs> it's suddenly night time. Startling everything. Is this the house? There's the stables. I don't even know if there'll be anybody here. I think we kind of killed everybody, didn't we? So in theory, there shouldn't be. Anything to see here, or is it just a case of? Oh, hey, is that Mrs. Uh, Braithwaite? Yeah, there it is. I don't think she's gonna have anything on her. Looting her is probably pointless, surely. Oh, no, I got her brooch. Okay. Is there anything else I can have here? Probably not. I still don't know what happened to the daughter. Not the one that's out in the uh, shed. Although that does beg the question. What about the door out in the shed? Maybe we'll pop over there quickly. I imagine you can't do anything, but... This bit didn't I? So she must be over here. Can you shoot 
Uh, I didn't want to. I'm just wondering that it's like one, two, three, seven, six. There's definitely no four, like locks five, or anything. Seven, two, Shoot. Okay. Uh, one, two, Let's go get our debt and then we'll go see Sadie. at me. Wait is average. Hooray. <laughs> so Glowy is fit again. I'm average weight. I need to get perfect weight though, so we're gonna have to work on that a bit more. Oh there's another thing. I wonder who that one is. I wanna do the Sadie mission though, so if I miss it I'll just miss it, I guess. Great. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quiet since this? I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> If he can do it, anyone can. <laughs> Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you going to let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> a few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. And? I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Mm. Well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, never Micah. If you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. True, though. What is that? <gasps> what the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. What? Everybody take coffee! Or Driscoll boys are coming! Oh, are you kidding me? And all I've got is my Oh no, I've got this. I've got my I've got my repeater. How bloody dare they kill Kieran? Just like that. Women and children inside. Rescue you. Hold your ground. Maybe I'll get to finally kill um Cole. Get to the front door. Okay. Damn crap. Come on, damn Crystal. Uh, where am I going? Don't let ah. back through that door. Yeah. I said, is everyone accounted for? 
I don't know. I think. I think isn't flipping good now. Damn, kid. Should never take that old drip. What do you mean? It wasn't his fault. He got killed. That's Mrs. Adler. She's still out there. Cover me. Okay. Who's this lady? Jump through the window and find Sadie. Hold on, girl. Ah! I don't like the address schools. Uh, you right there? Why didn't you get inside? She had killing to do. Did miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Check Sadie. Now we go back. Okay. We need you in the house, Mrs. S yeah, I'm getting shot. Then why protect Sadie? Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Yeah, he didn't say that. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him? <laughs> Sadie, she is near, covered in blood. Too near. Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. Yeah. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our I'm problems. I'm seeing a lot of problems. And our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. I thought we were just going to go on a robbery. I didn't think we were going to have a flipping Shall we? headless corpse being yep. ridden into town. Hey, at least we got lots of alligators to buy though. <laughs> Easy corpse disposal. <laughs> he saved my life and I could not save his. Yeah. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. <laughs> she Wilder. is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Apparently time has passed because I've got a beard. <laughs> what did I have to do for that one? Uh, complete using only sidearms. Ah, that's a shame. Shoot the O'Driscolls in the boat before they disembark. I did that one. Get 15 headshots. I wonder how many I actually got. 
Didn't take any health items though. Ha <laughs> Has to be a thing. <laughs> um, so that's opened up a couple more things on our thing, is it? We've got another Charles one. Charles invited you to his exhibition in San Denis. Um, oh yeah, that's the bounty I just picked up. Cool. So, what's this one? Oh, the Jim Boy Calibre one. Yeah, yeah, forgot about that. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, and rather than doing the Dutch one next, I will probably do this one, I think. Um, and then I can swing by and see the Jim Boy Calloway one and finish that quest off, which would be good. So I will see you on the next one.